Hello and welcome to the Nerd Crew. I'm Mike and I'm what you might call a rock star in terms of people who make videos commenting on things you may have missed in movie trailers on YouTube. That's right, and I'm Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel terrible. I have the worst cold right now. And I haven't had anything to eat, so do you mind if I have just a little something? Is that okay? Sure. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to make a little something on my, my nice uh, Death Star popcorn machine. <laughs> so I know you guys weren't really prepared to shoot an episode of the Nerd Crew today, but there is just so much breaking Star Wars news that we had to film. I think he got more outside of the Death Star popcorn maker than he did inside the Death Star popcorn maker. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Can we just do this later? No, Jay. We can't just do this later. Look, you signed a contract with Disney, I mean this program, to make pathetic fucking shill videos, okay? Rain or shine. Now, just because you don't feel good doesn't stop amazing Star Wars news from happening and the duty that we have to talk about it on the internet. Look, why don't you take one of these Kylo Ren Star Wars vitamins? Maybe it'll make you feel better. Fucking vitamins? Don't they make Star Wars Sudafed? They do, but they were all out. And you know, this machine, it's so quiet, too. What? What? The machine, the Star Wars Death Star popcorn machine, it's so quiet, it's like a whisper. What's he saying? Is something about a popcorn machine? Could you say that again, buddy? I, I, wh what? Did you say, did you say you're, you're my buddy? I know, what? we've I know each other a long time. No, no, the thing you said before that. There's something about the popcorn machine, the Death Star popcorn machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Death Star popcorn machine. One of the best features of this Star Wars Death Star popcorn machine is that it's whisper quiet. At home, when I'm running a vacuum cleaner, you can hardly hear it. I agree. I didn't vote for Trump either. Right, right. Are we still making the fucking popcorn? And the machine's the machine's fine. Look, as you can see, the quality craftsmanship on this. Oh my god! It, it, it looks just like the Death Star. Oh my god! And, you're spilling oh hot god. butter oh all god. over the table. There's an awful lot of smoke. Where, where, where are the Star Wars uh, wipes? I don't think the butter is supposed to go on top of the popcorn maker. I, I think there's a problem. Is it supposed to do that? Why is my popcorn on fire? Is that... I think the machine's on fire. Oh my god. Um, do we have... That's like really on fire? I think that's taking care of the problem, but there seems to be more smoke. Is it supposed to do that? Oh my god. Quick, get the Anakin Skywalker fire extinguisher. I'm too weak to stand up. Who would have thought that the Death Star popcorn machine would have one fatal flaw built into it? So, uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, the popcorn itself, it's, it's, it's tasty? Oh my god! So recently, Entertainment Weekly posted a series of images from Star Wars Episode Eight. Ooh, I haven't seen those yet. Yeah. Very cool. And since Rich hasn't seen them yet, Jay, why don't you get out your iPad, if you remember those. And Rich, you can take a look at the images as we discuss them in detail. There you go. There's the iPad. Did you get this at a Goodwill? <laughs> Here, Rich, here's the iPad. This is our first image. Um, so we're going to put these up on the screen, but Rich is also going to be looking at them. And this is an exclusive first look for Rich. Uh, Rich has not I seen these images yet. They've wait. been out for weeks, but somehow he has not seen them. Now, what we're going to talk about first is how amazing this first image is. The variation 
in her costume is incredible. Uh, we see she has less sleeves than she did in, in, in the first movie. Well, it definitely looks like she's still wearing rags. They're just slightly different colored rags. It's a slight different variation of a homeless person costume. And now we know that, you know, this is the same location that we saw at the end of The Force Awakens. We'll see that same location again. I was wondering if the film would have any continuity with the previous one. I believe the rocks in the background is the location where she meets Luke Skywalker. I, I'm sorry, is this an exclusive? Because I was unaware that The Rock was in this film. That's quality. Now in this next image, we see Rey talking to Luke Skywalker. And if you'll notice, Luke Skywalker is standing inside the cave while Rey is on the outside. Neither of them look very happy and... I'm just going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say they're having a disagreement of some kind. Maybe he wants to stay. Maybe she wants to go. But I think the most important thing to take from this image is her hairstyle is different. Very cool. It is very cool. It's done in three buns. That's such an amazing twist on the previous film. Uh, now, because Mark Hamill is is standing in this doorway and there's a separation between them, uh, maybe Ray is just waiting for Mark Hamill to get out of the way so that she can walk inside in this scene. Maybe she has to use the bathroom. Now, has it been confirmed that this is indeed an image from The Last Jedi and maybe not some other film? Now, now the tip of her staff looks like it might be some sort of a, a lightsaber. Mm. So maybe maybe this is a lightsaber staff. We, we haven't seen that before. We haven't seen that before. We have never seen a lightsaber staff before. We have Star Wars not be seen that a, before. A, exclusive information that we now maybe possibly have what could be a lightsaber staff. Now, Rich, would this have a lightsaber? Uh, I want to say lightsaber ejaculate, but really it's a, it's a lightsaber. Uh, I want to say erection. It's a lightsaber penis what what is a sword a, a, a blade blade is the word i'm looking a for. saber it's a lightsaber is is the blade going to come out on both ends of the staff or would that be too close to darth maul's staff? i i think it's going to be like a, a lightsaber spear it's just gonna be one tiny lightsaber out of the tip and this is a lightsaber meant for throwing oh my lord we have never seen that in a star wars film before this is an exclusive this could be brand new material here everybody Brand new. Ooh. Well, my mind. Just like our popcorn machine. Now, Rich, why don't we go ahead and move on to our next image, which is not of Ray and Luke Skywalker. Uh, it is a familiar character, Finn, with a new character who I'm not uh, familiar with. Rich, can you describe the image? Even though we're going to put it up on the screen, Rich is seeing this image for the first time. He's this, seen all these images this, for the first this, time. This image tells me. There are minorities in this film. And and that's great because, you know, this Star Wars, it's more diverse than it's ever been. That's true. That's this is true. true. This, this is, is we've true. never this had a minority in a Star Wars film no, before. No, this is ever. true. This, this is, is very true. diverse. It's very true. It's very the very diversity true. is very diverse. incredible. Very diverse. So while white people still have all of the main roles in the Star Wars universe, I am still proud of Disney for taking this bold step and giving minorities all of the less important side roles. Well, kudos to Disney for taking this brave, but still safe marketing decision. Disney is very inclusive, but not too inclusive. Now, if only the Avengers could be a little more inclusive. If I wanted to see a Cracker Factory, I'd visit Nabisco. Oh, snap. What? what? Oh, sorry, I'm hungry. Okay, guys, let's move on to our next image. Ready, Rich? Here yeah, we I'm go. Right. I'm, I'm going to swipe now. The f*** is that? This isn't real, right? This is a this is a prank? Are they taking the shared universe to the next level? Are we, are we incorporating Caddyshack into the Star Wars universe? Yeah, it's very clear that someone photoshopped a Furby into that image or something because Disney knows not to go that overboard with the cutesy marketable stuff. It's a very funny prank. I never thought Entertainment Weekly had a really, really great sense of humor until now to publish fake images. Maybe Ashton Kutcher was the guest editor because he hosted that punk show 37 years ago. I remember that show called 
punked. Do you remember punked? When I saw the Phantom Menace, I thought I was being punked. I just confirmed it. It's real, guys. And it's amazing. It's very cool. It's very cool. Very, cool. very cool. That little creature is just, it's just going to be gold. Now, Rich, um, we're going to move on to our next exclusive image. This is an image of characters that are apparently Luke's caretakers on the island that he lives oh, on. Are you ready to take I'm a look ready. at I'm this? Gonna, I'm going to swipe. Um, I, I, I think you made some kind of mistake. This is uh, quite clearly station from Bill and Ted's bogus journey. I have confirmed this. It's real, guys. Oh. Well, it's very cool. Very cool. I can't very wait cool. to see these characters on screen in Star Wars. They look incredible. Now that it's been confirmed that that is not Station from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, I think it's an incredibly creative and original idea and vision. I think these creepy, creepy monsters that will give children nightmares are just going to sell like hotcakes. They're adorable. They're almost as adorable as the Furby. They look like a turd with a face. You know what this looks like? It kind of looks like if, you know, E.T. had sex with the sadness turtle from the never-ending story. Oh, <laughs> right. This, this, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Sorry, Jay's coughing again. Yeah. <laughs> Jay... <laughs> Jay, if you need to use the Darth Vader humidifier, I've plugged it in for you. You just turn the knob on the back. There you go. Hopefully this won't blow up. I've put some Vicks Vapor Rub inside it. Oh, it smells like James Earl Jones. This smells like some sort of chemical. What, what did you put in here? Ah, uh, battery acid. It smells like something that I should not be ingesting. I read on Oprah's website that battery acid was good for a cold. If you start bleeding from your nose, we know it's working. Is it supposed to make you feel more sick? Guys, I've got some new information coming in on the official Nerd Crew monitor. It looks like Disney has just announced plans for an Obi-Wan Kenobi standalone film. Oh my god! That is so cool. Very cool. Now, this is great news because it was completely unexpected. This is such a, a unique turn that I would have not considered Disney would take with Star Wars. Who would have known? You know, the great thing about this is that it's a character that we know. Rich, where is Obi-Wan? Where would he be for a standalone film? Well, 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 after uh, Revenge of the Sith, uh, uh, Obi-Wan clearly goes to uh, Tatooine. Mm -hmm. And we know he spends the next 17 years just wandering around Tatooine. So I, I think we can expect to see a lot of sand and um, uh, uh, meditation. Well, yeah, that's not going to make for a very exciting film. So I have a feeling Obi-Wan is going to leave Tatooine and maybe go on some kind of crazy fucked up adventure. A lot can happen in 17 years that no one will ever mention again. Might, m m might I be so bold as to suggest the return of Darth Maul? Ooh. We, we never officially saw him die. We only saw him get cut in half. That's correct, Rich. You can get cut in half and still survive. Just like my grandpa in the Second World War. We called him old half -Z. So, Rich, if Darth Maul did survive the plunge down into that pit on Naboo, does he have robot legs? Oh, I was going to say skateboard, but robot legs, that's much cooler. <laughs> that would just be amazing. You know, I bet he could run really fast. Like, as fast as someone with robot legs. I can just imagine the action figure line. Darth Maul is Darth Maul, the iconic Darth Maul that we know and love except for he has robot legs, and that's the difference. What's really amazing is that it's Darth Maul, but with robot legs. What if both halves of Darth Maul get robotic replacements? Oh my gosh, like he Whoa. fell into some kind of factory? Like he fell in some kind of like robot factory that was at the bottom of Naboo, and then like, like the top half of Darth Maul gets merged with like the, the bottom half of an R2 unit, and we get to see you know, more details on how R2 units can get around in rough terrain. He can oh, fly around with cool. R2 rocket boosters. Yeah, yeah. And then the bottom half of Darth Maul will get like mixed with some kind of spider robot, and it'll have even more legs... 
And then at the end of the movie, Obi-Wan Kenobi has to team up with the top half of Darth Maul mm. to fight off the eight-legged bottom half of Darth Maul. Wow, that sounds so awesome. That is very cool, Rich. Very cool. Yeah, I, I believe Carrie Fisher misspoke when she said Star Wars is about family. It's about family, and that's what's so powerful about it. Star Wars is about a half Darth Maul with a robot <laughs> bottom. Star Wars is really about a top half Darth Maul robot and a bottom half Darth Maul robot fighting each other with 20 lightsabers while Obi-Wan is stuck in the middle. Hang on, guys. Something's coming in on the official Nerd Crew computer monitor. Oh my god. Disney has now just announced plans for a Jabba the Hutt standalone film. A movie about a gangster slug that doesn't speak English sounds so appealing. It sounds very cool. Remember who's writing the checks here? Very cool. Well, they want, you know, they want to they want to expand their audience. They want more women to come in and see a movie and they think women want to see a movie about a fat slug who's corpulent and can't move. They've al already made Kevin Smith films. Oh my God, my Star Wars news feed is going haywire. What's on the BBS now? Guys, Disney is announcing plans for Star Wars standalone films at a rapid pace. I can't even keep up. <laughs> There's another one coming in now. It's a standalone film for Forlom. Who the fuck is Forlom? This one of the bounty hunters from Empire Strikes Back. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh, my God. In 2028, we're going to be treated to a General Rykan standalone film. And if you don't remember who that is, it's the general from Empire Strikes Back who orders the evacuation of Hoth. He's got a whole backstory about his service in the rebellion. And let me tell you, it's going to be amazing. We better start the evacuation. He's going to have to deal with claims of being a coward because he fled from Hoth, rather than standing his ground. We'll just have to ask Lawrence Kasdan, because he's rumored to write. You know, I was just thinking, is calling them standalone films, is that offensive to paraplegics? I think Disney should really take this into consideration. Oh, Jay, that's that's a really good point. I, I hadn't thought about that before. You know, maybe maybe we should organize some kind of a protest or, or march about this, because I can, I can really sympathize with the paraplegics, you know? I, I know how they feel, because sometimes... I'm just too lazy to stand or walk myself. They've just announced another standalone film. Oh. Well, this one's not happening till 2054, so we have a little bit of a wait. I've already pre-ordered my tickets. Oh, yes. Very cool. Well, this what is, is it? What is this movie, Mike? Oh, I need to know. Oh, I'm, I'm I need gonna, to know. I'm going to say can it. Can you tell us the title of the film or who the main character is? I don't know the title, but I can tell you who it's about. It's a standalone film about Lobot. Oh! My. Yes! Wait, who's Lobot? L Lobot's the guy from uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, uh, Lando's friend, the bald guy with the robot head, the robotic implant on the back of his head. That guy's just standing in the background? Rich, everybody knows Lobot. Oh, that's my favorite character! Well, I'm sure we're all very familiar with Lobot, but for the sake of the audience... Yes, uh, yes. For know, we want to make sure that everybody is up to date on Lobot. Okay, guys, I'm going on to Wikipedia now, and I'm looking up Lobot. Okay. Lobot, also known by the nickname Lo or Chrome Dome, was a male human from the planet Bespin who, with the assistance of his AJ-6 cyborg construct, was paid to run battlefield calculations for the Galactic Empire. However... He eventually began working with the smuggler Lando Calrissian aboard the Millennium Falcon, running numerous criminal jobs. During one job, the theft of the Emperor's personal yacht, the Galactic Terror, Lobot... Wait, wait, the Emperor's personal yacht was called the Galactic Terror. Lobot was gravely wounded by an Imperial Guard when he was hit in the back of the head by a voodoo claw which scraped his brain stem. Lobot served as Calrissian's aide, personal confidant, and chef. After being denied entrance to the Moss Isley Cantina due to his cyborg nature. Hey, 
We don't serve their kind here. What? Lobot then organized a peaceful protest or sit-in with other cyborgs in the cantina. <laughs> He eventually won the right to drink at the dive bar and was awarded Cyborg of the Year by Jabba the Hutt at a ceremony on Bespin. This Lobot backstory sounds incredible. Very cool. Well, guys, this is exciting. There is just so much Star Wars news coming out every day. What a great time to be alive. Oh my God, guys, I just got a message the new trailer for The Last Jedi just dropped. Oh my God, holy shit! Oh my God, let's go let's watch go, it. Let's go. We have to go watch this. I'm caught on the cable, Rich. Oh my God, hurry up, Mike, hurry up, man. Jay, get it, get it ready, go, get go, it ready. I'm get, caught get, on the cable. Caught on the fucking cables. What up here? It's kind of like lag. Uh, get Damn that it. over. There we go. What do you there think we... I do yoga? Wow. Gonna... All right, guys, here it is. The Last Jedi trailer number two. This is our first viewing of it. Oh, I can't wait. All right. Um, oof. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Can I Can I, I play it? Yeah, yeah, hit it. Hit I it. predict to be blown away. Yes, okay. absolutely. Hit it, Jay. Ooh. Come on, come on. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Ooh. Wow. 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 Oh my God. Mm. Tie fighter, tie fighter. I see it. it. I see it. I see it. Ooh. Oh. Vistas. Yeah. What planet is that? Oh, one of those characters. Ooh, lightsaber. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. It's green. It's green. It was green. What? Lots of, okay. lots of woods. Lots of woods. Is that cosplay? What? Oh! oh. oh wow. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, wow. oh That's my god. That's an exact dish like they had for Church Jedi. Yes. Jedi. Oh, Jedi. Kylo, Kylo, Ren. Kylo 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 That was a fake trailer.